artists and families. Hello, my amazing artists. It's Miss Amy. And I have a helper today. I have my daughter, Emily. Hi. Who's behind my camera and my technical wizard guru. Thanks so much, Em, because she's been a big help to me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so today, my friends, we are going to be talking about texture. And texture, if you know what texture is, is something that you can feel. And in art, uh, it's something that looks like it has a feeling to it. So I'm gonna show you da, 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 a little art history. Okay, my friends, this is a very famous artist named Albert Durier. And we don't have a, photo a photo of him because he was born in the 1400s. Uh, they didn't have photography back then. Um, but he had this beautiful self-portrait he did. And he was known uh, particularly for capturing texture. Look at his hair. Can you see the texture in his own hair? And of the fur in his jacket? And I'm gonna show you another famous painting he did of this rabbit. Look at the texture in the rabbit's fur and in the fur, fur in the ears of the rabbit. And there's another very famous print he did called the rhinoceros. Look at all the different textures. How many can you spot? Can you see some that are bumpy, some that are scaly, some textures that are pointy or smooth? So you can see he was very, very good at capturing texture. So for our project today, going to be kind of a two-part project. I want you to go outside looking for texture. Uh, Emily, right, we went on a hike the other day, right, Em? Mm -hmm. And uh, we gathered a bunch of different leaves that have some interesting texture to it. Um, the, the veins create texture. Um, these leaves have neat uh, texture to them. So I want you to gather some leaves or nature things that you think have texture, okay? Um, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna need a piece of paper and you're gonna need a white crayon with the wrapper off, okay? So this first part of the project is we're gonna do a rubbing, we've done this before, um, of the different textures that you find. Okay, so what I want you to do is to take your leaves, maybe overlap them like that. Okay, and put them on your on your table. Okay. Like that. All right. And then cover them with your paper. Just like that, just like so, okay? And then I want you to take your white crayon and rub your leaves, just like so. And you're not gonna be able to see it because you're, you're rubbing on a white piece of paper, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, now, you just have a plain piece of paper, but wait, there's more. So next part of the project, we're gonna paint your paper. If you don't have paint, no problem. The second part of the project is gonna be to make paint with things that you have around the house. And you're not gonna believe the things that you have around the house that'll make paint, okay? One of these things you might remember we did and we used before. Remember when we used uh, ink and we made ink and we used your, your um, uh, quills? Blueberries make good paint. I just took some frozen blueberries and a little bit of water and we made some blue paint. What else makes paint? Do you have an, like an old marker, washable marker that's kind of going dry? Just stick it in just a little bit of water and look at that. I've got some red paint. 
Guess what else you can use? Kool-Aid. Do you have any Kool-Aid at home? Or maybe even Jello? Those two things, if you mix a little bit of water and Kool-Aid, you'll get blue or yellow or orange, whatever color kind of Kool-Aid you have. <clears throat> Miss Emily, what does mommy need every morning? Coffee. Coffee. Did you know that coffee grinds make a really good paint? Watch this. This has a filter in it. So I would maybe ask for mom and dad's help. They might have a K-cup or something. You put a little water in that coffee. Look at that. Nice brown paint there. Let's see, what else do I have? You could use watercolors if you have watercolors at home. You could use tea. I heated up some water and I put a couple of bags of tea in just a little bit of water. And I've got a, like a nice light tan there. So there's some tea. You're not gonna believe this. You know what this is, Em? I don't know, what is I it? I know, you just asked. You're like, what is that? These are dandelions. I have dandelions growing in my yard. Do you guys? I have dandelions. So I picked out the yellow part and I put it in the sun for a while and look at that, it's gonna be like a, a le, uh, lello, lello. It's gonna be like yellow. What else makes a good paint? You're not gonna believe this. Spices can make a good paint. This is turmeric. Turmeric is very bright. It's like a bright, bright orangey yellow. Um, it might be a little gritty, but you could either filter it out with paper towel or you could use a coffee filter. Um, or you can just keep it a little gritty if you want. So those are some things that I had ideas. Um, I wonder if you have any ideas. I don't know. Um, what if you don't have a paintbrush? Well, that's okay. Because guess what? You can use other things besides a paintbrush. You could use a, what's that, Em? Q-tip. A Q-tip. You could use, we've used the quills before, but you could use the other side of a? Feather. A feather. Just make sure you wash it first. You can even, I don't know if Emily wants to get a close-up of this, you can even make a paintbrush. I made a paintbrush using um, like evergreen and I cut some evergreens and then I used, if you can see, a little bit, a little tiny elastic and I um, stuck it to a piece of a stick. So that's another way you can use make a paintbrush. So let's try, I'm gonna have Emily um, show us from overhead. Let's try and use these paints and see what we get and if we can see the texture that we um, that we rubbed. All right. So I'm going to just try all these different paints so you can see how how they work. So this is my coffee. Oh, not bad. Kind of a brown. Kind of a brown look about it. How about, I'm gonna rinse off my brush. How about I use a little bit of this blueberry? Let's try some of that. Ooh, it's more of a purpley, huh? Do you see the texture, Em? Yeah, I do. Start to come out? Wow. Look at that. Kinda of cool, huh? Uh, let's try some of this Kool-Aid. Oh, look at this blue. This is like a, whoa, look at that blue, Em. My goodness, it's so bright. That's really, really super bright, isn't it? Wow. Just think, you could even drink this <laughs> this paint, huh? Don't drink it, don't. The if coffee you, you could technically drink too, but, well, you don't want to. I mean, I'm not sure kids. the Kool Aid will be very sour. Right, exactly. Uh, how about, let's try this tea. And the coffee tea. would be very bitter. Let's try this tea. Ooh, like a. Auburn. Yeah. Mm. Burnt umber. Yes, burnt umber. Burnt umber. umber, yeah. That's pretty. Do you see the, the leaves coming through? The texture of the leaves? That's really cool. Uh, how about this marker? This will be pretty. The pink. See how that worked out. Oh, yeah, that works out good. Very bright. That's really bright, right? And that's marker. Can you believe that? That's really cool. All right, and what else do I have? Uh, oh, the dandelion, right? Let's see how that came out. Oops, got a little dandelion in my oh, wow. That's pretty, you. yeah, that's pretty. That's really cool, huh? Got little dandelions in it. What do you think? My phone's raining. <laughs> that's all right. 
there. Oh, we didn't do the turmeric. Let's try that. This one's gonna be a little bit grainy, I think, but we can try over here, over here, over here. Kind of looks like the dandelion, doesn't it? Yeah. Similar color to the dandelion. It smells kind of good too. Doesn't it? Yeah. So what do you think? That's pretty good, huh? All this homemade paint. So those are some of the paints that I made from things that I found at home. So what I want you to do is, if you want, try this at home. Um, maybe think of another paint you can make. And what we're going to do is next week we're going to have another Zoom meeting. And I want you to pick one thing to share um, that we can share with each other on the Zoom meeting. Maybe it's a paint that you made. Uh, maybe it's uh, the rubbing you did. Maybe it's one of the projects that I shared with you last week, the magazine mashup. But I think we had, um, uh, what else did we have? The, the color wheel idea. Whatever it is, whatever it is you want to share, maybe something that you just did on your own. I'd love to see it. And I'd love to share your masterpieces with everyone. So I hope you stay well. Um, it's a beautiful day today. I hope you're getting outside and having fun. And can't wait to do art with you again soon. Okay, bye.